What's up everybody, this your boy Trayvon here with Set Talk TV and today we're going to be doing a full review on a new release from the house of Javanchi. It is Javanchi Gentleman Reserve Privé. Now when you purchase this, this is the sleeve that the box comes in. There's a little sleeve. It has the, uh, the fragrance on the front as, as well as the title of the fragrance at the top. It has the Javanchi logo right there. Nothing on the sides, anything like that. Here's your box. Got the same typical Javanchi gentleman box. Got the concentration, Eau de Parfum concentration. You got the size of the bottle right here. 100 milliliters of greatness. Logo as well. Got the little logo at the top there. Nothing on the back but some little information. You got the ingredients, batch code, and the barcode at the bottom. Here is your bottle. I really do like how this bottle looks. Has the same typical uh, style bottle, but it, this one has that little gradient uh, whiskey color right here at the bottom. Love it. You can barely see this. This has the size and concentration as well as the name of the fragrance here at the bottom. On the back, you have the logo. The cap has the logo as well nothing on the inside the atomizer is pretty good what do i get out of this fragrance i get a warm fresh boozy aroma coming from this this here ladies and gentlemen this is so good 10 out of 10 in my opinion right here in my hands fan Fantastic. In the top, you get some bergamot. You do get some bergamot. You do get that little subtle lime citrus accord in the opening, but that quickly fades away quite quickly. And then in the mid, you get the iris. You get that lipsticky, powdery, somewhat iris, as well as the chestnut, giving it more of a nutty, uh, warm, nutty, herbaceous, somewhat a herbaceous uh, vibe. Not too much, but the chestnut makes it a little bit nutty, make it a little bit sweeter. It also has some dry fruits in here as well, giving it a slight warm fruity vibe. Now you get to the fun part. The fun part is that whiskey that you get some of the woods and amber. The iris and the booziness inside of this fragrance works so well with each other. The bergamot you don't get throughout the whole um, the mid to the base, you don't get that too much. It hangs way in the background. But the main thing you get is that iris and that whiskey and that amber to warm it up a lot more. Whew. Like this is a master piece. Take Dior Homme Intense, times this, times it by two, and add some whiskey, some warmth, and some booziness into this with a slight bit of freshness you get this. To me, this is dominating this a lot, in my opinion. Now, I do enjoy both of these very, very much, but there's a new sheriff in town, and his name is Reserve Privé by Javanchi. Mwah! The amount of compliments that I received from this bad boy was very, very outstanding. A lot of people enjoyed this uh, when I wore this at work. I got compliments saying that it smells really good. They asked what I was wearing and I told them, this will, without a shadow of a doubt, garner you great compliments. Now, if you aren't a fan of that list, lipsticky type of a vibe that Dior Homme Intense gives, it has the same thing, but a little bit of booziness. But if you're not a fan of that lipsticky vibe, you're not gonna enjoy this. If you don't like Dior Homme Intense, you're not gonna like this at all. Maybe. Now, the ages that can rock this, I believe that all ages can rock this. But if you want my specific opinion on age groups, I would say middle age on up. But teenagers, the youthful crowd can rock this as well. It smells that good. I don't care what age you are. If you like this, wear it. Cause I wear the heck out of this. I, I love this so much. I'm probably just gonna go and give me a backup bottle of this because man.
performance. Eight plus hours with an hour and a half of fantastic projection. Set close to the skin, but not too much. Actually leaving you a great scent bubble, giving you a great CIOS trail, and have ama amazing longevity on top of that as well. Seasons, fall and winter time, maybe early spring for the cooler days. Do not wear this in high heat situations. Like I always say, if you want to, do you. But me, personally, I will not rock this in the summertime at all. It has too much warm, cozy sweetness to try to adapt in the heat, which it won't, in my opinion, at least on my skin. I don't know about you, but I will not do this in the high heat situations. Colder environments, like cold uh, temperatures, you no know, cooler seasons, fall and winter time. That's what I worry. That's when I would work. So the price that I paid for this was 106 bucks, plus tax brought it up to 112 for a 3.3 ounce bottle. The 1.7, I believe, runs a good, I think, 86 bucks. But uh, this one, a good solid 106. And full retail, is it worth it? Yes, it is. Hop on this bad boy. Whew. I mean, this is amazing. This is right up my alley. I love that sweet, boozy, lipsticky type of a uh, feel with some creaminess. Makes it creamy. It's more of a uh, gourmati type of a scent as well with the nuttiest and dry fruits that's inside of here. <sighs> Masterpiece. Dior Homme Intense. I still love you, but Javanchi, Gentleman, Reserve Privé is, is taking your spot, sweetie. I'm sorry. To me, this one is a little bit more fresher, a little bit more powdery. This one has a lot more depth. That chestnut and that whiskey that's inside of here really gives it more of a boozy, sweet, dry, fruity depth. It bring, has a lot of more big substance into this. This is a little bit more lighter than this, powdery and a little bit more fresher. So that's all that I got for Scent Talk TV, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, please, you know what to do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there. Be blessed. And always have a good one. And I'm out of here. Peace.